If you guys like Marvel phone accessories like cases or cores, go to the first link in the description. It will take you to a website that is offering discounts on all their products, or most of their products, if not all. Go check it out. It's awesome. Let's go into the video. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be going over every single Marvel TV series that will be coming to the Disney Plus streaming service. So let's just get right into it, starting with the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So pretty much what this show is going to be about is the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and how Falcon is now going to become the next Captain America and the government doesn't want him to be the next Captain America. It doesn't think he's going to do a good job at that. So this show will definitely have a lot of character development because Falcon is going to have to decide if he wants to be the next Captain in America or be the best Falcon that he can possibly be. So it's going to be really cool to see all of that. Um, the next one is, of course, Wanda and Vision. Uh, this show actually takes place after Avengers Endgame. So one of the main questions is how is this going to all work out? How is Vision going to somehow make his way into uh, this TV show when he is obviously dead after the events of Avengers Infinity War? So that's kind of the biggest question for that show, but I'm still really pumped to see these characters come together again in some new take on Wanda and Vision. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, the next one is, of course, Loki, and I'm really pumped for Loki. This show is actually going to go through American history, and it's going to see how Loki has slightly impacted all the events that have happened through American history. So that's going to be super cool, you know, seeing things that we study in school and then seeing how Loki kind of had his hand in it the whole time. I think that's super awesome. Um, and then, of course, the What If series. So I'm honestly really pumped for the What If series. This is kind of a hard series to explain, at least in my opinion. Uh, pretty much what's going to happen is that major moments in the MCU are going to kind of get switched around, in a sense, I guess you could say. So, like, the first episode I think that they will be airing is what if Peggy Carter had gotten the Super Soldier Serum? So, it's going to follow that story of Peggy Carter. Instead of Captain America getting the Super Soldier Serum, uh, this series kind of will take iconic MCU moments and kind of twist them a bit and say, okay, what if this happened instead of this? So I'm really pumped for this one and I cannot wait to see that as well. And then next we get a uh, Hawkeye. So that'll be a Hawkeye TV show. Honestly, I don't know what this show is going to be about. Uh, I know that Kate Bishop will be in it and that uh, Kate Bishop will kind of be taking a uh, Hawkeye under his wing, I guess you could say. So it's going to be really cool to see what this whole show is about and what plot we get in this one. And then uh, Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel is going to be an awesome show. I personally cannot wait for Miss Marvel. There hasn't really been anything revealed about the plot specifically about this, but Miss Marvel will have a huge role in the MCU moving forward. Uh, since we have lost Spider-Man, we do need a character to kind of replace that teen superhero. So Ms. Marvel will definitely be the one who will be doing that in the future MCU movies. So there you guys go on Miss Marvel. And next one, Moon Knight. And honestly, I know nothing about Moon Knight, so I will be doing my research on that and probably giving you guys a video on this character of Moon Knight once we get more information on the show and things like that uh the next one is called she hulk and that's pretty much hulk but a girl version she's actually a lawyer in the comics so hopefully they do something with that in the tv show but honestly i'm really pumped for she hulk getting to see a woman version of hulk <laughs> and seeing how that's going to play out that's going to be quite interesting so uh, there you guys go those are pretty much all the shows we know right now that will be making an appearance on the disney plus streaming service and hopefully the next couple years so let me know what you guys think in the comments let me know which one you guys are most excited for don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment and you guys have an amazing day